the genteel Yorkshire spa town, famous for its tea and floral arrangements, resides a rather wonderful 55-year-old beauty of German heritage. I had something that somebody else thought was too good for me. You know, it wasn't... I shouldn't have had a car like that. I went to the bank and borrowed the three and a half thousand pound because I liked the car, he liked the car, and I loved the car. This Mercedes 230S has been a part of Judith and Brian Walker's family since the early 1980s. I used to use it for work, and everybody used to come round and look at it, think it was the boss's car, and it wasn't, it was only mine, and I was only in the kitchen cooking. <laughs> it drove itself. But everybody used to watch it on the road. As you went down, everybody looked, and, and I, I used to think, oh, I don't like this. I don't like people looking at me driving this car. Two spinsters had it. They had a chauffeur who drove them to do the shopping and go into church and back, and uh, they never used it such a lot with being spinsters. We bought it and it done 10,500, I think, like. when we bought it. Yeah. We haven't done above 10,000 in the last 30 odd years. And the last number of years, it's been stood in the garage. Over the years, just general maintenance, that's all. Brian took it out to spray it, and it didn't go so very well, you know, the spray. He just did the sides. It's like new inside. You know, it's not sadly been used, is it? Shuts nice. The magnetic, these doors as well. Fire, you can feel the. The pull of them. It's just the weight of the door, that's all it is. Is it the weight of yeah. the door? 2.2, .2, straight six. She wants a good, good service, she wants brakes doing. Egg sandwich, anybody? Stood in here for two years and never moved. Whether the battery will stop up, I don't know. Be positive, Brian. Yeah. I like luxury things, you see, and I wanted luxury. <laughs> Didn't want quantity, I wanted quality. Be it little or be it big. They don't build them like this today, do they? Bit of tin and metal. You have a bump and you're bumming buggered with your cat. You, you're knackered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a lot in there, can't you? Well, I could put Brian in. <laughs> That's any good. <laughs> yeah, you could put a dead body in there, couldn't you? <laughs> Quite easy. Right, that's the boat. <laughs> I don't know. It's got a dent on the back, though, hasn't it, Brian? No, don't worry about dent. It's 50-year-old. If it went to Germany, it would sell better, maybe, with the HES being Hess. Well, mind you, I don't suppose anybody in Germany really wants to know anything much about it. I don't like looking at it. Stood here. Time it went now. Time it went, so... Yeah. You know, we've had our days of it. I've had the pleasure of it. I've had a lot of pleasure. <laughs> I thought it was about 10,000. But if I got 5,000 for it, I'd be happy. Well, it wouldn't bother me, because I don't need the money. Nothing to do with it. Whatever I get, I'll be gratefully received, because it's just stood here. <laughs> Whoever gets it, I hope they get a lot of pleasure out of it, like I've done. I'd give it to somebody who could look after it. I would quite easily give don't it away. Don't things like that. Hey, no, but I've had my days of needing money. I'm 83 now. I haven't got long to bloody spend it, have I? <laughs> Sorry for swearing, I said bloody. But I would hate to see it whizzing round Harrogate. <laughs> I'd, I'd be jealous that I'd rather hate it. I want it miles away from me. <laughs> In North Yorkshire, Jack's arrived to collect Judith and Brian Walker's big beast of a Mercedes. Hiya, Judy. Hiya. We all right? Lovely to meet you. Hi. Glad to meet you. Good. No. Good. So this is it then? Yes, this is it. I it's see. Beast. Yeah. Yeah, it's big, isn't it? I didn't realise how big it was. Oh, yeah, it is big. Yeah. Why? Yeah, I like big Quite things. The plan is to drive the Merc onto the lorry. Then it's going to flatten the battery. Do you want a bit of easy start, Brian? Righto. Go on then. That's it. Yeah, get a rev on it, yeah. Yeah, you're all right, as you are. Manufactured from 1965 to 1968, the 230S was part of the W111 series, known commonly as Fintails, combining American-style design and German engineering. 
Taking around 13 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour, the 230S was designed for steady Earhart's, fellows who prize comfort above thrills. The W111s were the first production vehicles to benefit from comprehensive crash testing and included crumple zones, helping to make them one of the safest cars on the road. Oh, she's there, she's there, that'll do. That's it, he's got it on. Yeah, that was a bit slippy, wasn't it? It did have a certain smell when I jumped in it. I'm sounding like the old man the more I say that, aren't I? Yeah, that smell hits you straight away. It'll make a car, of course, it's got lovely background, hasn't it? L low miles, low ownership. It'd be interesting to see what it makes. Money-wise, wh yeah. where do you need to be, Judith? Not bothered. No? <laughs> That's easy, isn't it? <laughs> No, no sort of ballpark. Well, I paid three and a half thousand for it. There'll if be a I profit get on that, I'd have thought. Back, I'll, I'll have a happy. word with uh, I'll have a word with Grandad when I get back yeah. and get his thoughts. All right. See Your what granddad. he thinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep it in the family. I'm happy to see it go. Yes, somebody to look after it. Yeah, needs a lot of TLC. Ahead of the auction, Sooty is giving the Merc 230S a sweep. You don't see many about now. Solid cars. And he's noticed it's no Picasso in the paint department. I think he's maybe got the, um, the mixture wrong on the paints. He's had a go, but I don't think he's professional. There's so many runs on it, they fell off the bottom of the door. But I think you could get away with some of it by completely flattening it and polishing it. But again, it depends, you know, how much paint is put on. All we can do is just make the best of a bad job. Uh, there is a saying, but I won't say what it is. When the Mercs spick and span, it's Derek's turn for a gander, and the dodgy respray isn't looking any better. One of them cars is really difficult to know what to do with it. It's had a bit of a lick of paint. Always oh, layered it on. Yeah, oh, there, that'd be that thick. That bit, you can almost fall into that, couldn't you? Um, oh, I could, I could flat that and polish it, and it would look lovely but I can't see why you would want to flatten and polish it because it don't match anyway. It's off colour, so I can't see the point. You can see it a mile off. It ain't going to match, is it? I mean, you can see it ain't going to match. Still a beautiful car. Beautiful, beautiful this is when car. when Mercedes were Mercedes. They were. They were then. People realised it and knew it and bought them because of it. It's a 230S, which is an unusual car. It's a lovely, lovely car. Done 19,000 miles. They say that's correct from you. I'm sure it is because it smells right and it looks right inside. The most worrying thing is how someone's damaged the roof. So we've got a damaged roof to address, really. And it's a big roof. And it's a big roof. So, you know, do you drop the head line in and, and, and tap them out very, very carefully or whatever, or do you repair them and then paint the whole car? Where do you stop? It's one of them. Where do you stop? You could taunt the car and make it very nice, but you still wind up with these imperfections. I can't mop them out but I can get the paint finished looking very nearly as good as that bonnet, without question. I mean, if it looked 19,000 miles, then of course we'd be talking probably a 15 grand, I would think, for the and car. What we're talking now? I think possibly eight. So sort of a bit more than half its potential value if it was mint. What do you do with a paint? I mean, to make a, make a, a mint job of it, you paint the whole car. That's a big old girl, that, isn't it? That's a lovely old thing, isn't it? 230S. Yeah, great old car. They were a good, well-built car. Big, heavy, strong. They, they weren't built for performance. They were a big old plodder, and they did the job marvellously well, yeah. They are of the era where they weren't that popular, um, for obvious reasons. People didn't want to buy German cars, did they, for a long time, you know? And they've had to strive to make them better than anyone else's, really. The type of person, then, that had the money to buy a big old saloon car new, didn't really want to spend it with the Germans, like. Now then, this is a special car. I really do rate this car. She's a 230S, 1967. It's two owners from you. It said, there's no other way of putting it, is there? I can't put it any other way. I'd like to try and sort of soften the blow a bit. But it said, a poor paint job, but a lovely, solid, proper car. A lovely interior with an ultra-low mileage. Start me on it, 86. Bottom half he's done. 
He's had a go, the old lad, but not done it well enough. You know, God bless him. 8,600, 86, 87, 8,788, 89, 8,900 pound, 89, I can put it on sale. 9, 9, 1, 9, 2. 9, 3. 93, 94, 5, 95, 96, 97. 9. No, 98, 99, 90, 10,000 pound, 10,000 and away, 10, 1, 10, 2. 10,200, three, 10,300, 10, four. If you're into Mercedes, you've got to have this. 10,400, 10, five, 10, five, six on the internet, 10, seven. On sale and away, don't forget, 10, eight is on sale on the market, 10, nine. 11,000, he says, on the telephone, internet, you're out. 11,000, ah, there. 11, one, 11, two, back in. 11, three, 11, four, 11,400 and going, 11, five. All done on the, who's buying it, Will? Adriano. Adriano, Adriano, 11,500. Congratulations, sir, you're buying yourself a beautiful, genuine Mercedes. On sale and going then, last time looking round, I'm gonna sell it to Adriano, sold. 11,500, thank you for your bidding, gentlemen. The classic 230 makes good money. He's reborn. I had saw one very similar at a show in London and it just looked amazing. Good boy. And I did say to myself then, if I did see one come out, I'm looking to buying it. And uh, yeah, it came at the right time. I had a bit of spare cash, so, you know, I bought it. <laughs> in London, Adriano Monacello has added to his collection. There she is. To say the Merc has found the right owner is an understatement. Adriano is feeling the love. It's a Mercedes 230S, 1967, I think. It's uh, got a lot of presents. I love the shape of it, especially the fin tails at the back. And it's something unusual. It's just a great looking car. Not quite at the moment, but hopefully it will be. The chrome on it is amazing, isn't it? They don't make them like this anymore. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. Quality build. Very low mileage and um, a good history. And I thought it didn't need too much work, so it was something I could uh, manage. Well, it drove just about, which was, that was a good, good thing, because uh, I think it had been sitting around for over 10 years. And it hadn't been molested, it hadn't been mucked about with too much, uh, which was nice. So everything was there. It just needs a, a good clean, but TLC, and I think you know, it would be a, a great car. I've bought it blind, so someone's uh, fairly recent. I think it's resprayed it. Uh, I don't know with what. Uh, it's, a, it's it's got lots of drips in it. I know it's lots of orange peel at the moment, but I'm hoping that can rub back. Put it on quite thick, and it, it creates that uh, orange peel look. But I have uh, managed to flatten some of it down, and it's 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 getting better. But it's going to be a long job. Manual air conditioning. Just open the window. It pulls the air in. It's a beast, isn't it, really? Uh, maybe good for weddings, funerals. <laughs> there you go. Yes. That's a big, big old boot. Probably could fit a couple of bodies in there. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Wipers. There's a little foot pedal. There we go. I've always loved Mercedes. It's comfy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pleasant. Pop down the shops in your old 67 Merc. The look is just, you know, it took my breath away when I first saw one. Um, but they do drive really well. She's keeping temperature, oil pressure's quite good, and everything seems to work. Well, nearly everything. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. It's like going back uh, 50 years, isn't it? It's got a very strong smell of old cars. I love that smell. Hopefully it won't just...